Um, just wanted to talk to you today about my latest tattoo and the healing process for it um, because it's in a different place to where I've had other tattoos and stuff and this one was more uncomfortable so I thought it might be worth doing a video on it because people often say oh does it hurt when you have it tattooed there um, and like me myself when I was thinking of um, having the tattoo on my inner arm I did try and find some videos on YouTube to watch just to get a rough idea of like what it's like the healing and stuff because it's supposed to be more painful there. I've either got food on me or red mark there. And it's a red mark. Ooh, HD shows up all my marks. You have to excuse my skin, my freckles and everything all explode and go bonkers in the uh, sunshine. And as you can see I wear my sunglasses a lot outside and didn't put enough sunscreen on my nose. So I've got a bit of a pattern around my nose. Oops. Because um, I don't, I don't tend to wear makeup. So, or, well, when I do, um, it's when I go to work and stuff. Um, I'm on break at the minute, so I'm not wearing any makeup. Don't wear any makeup at the weekend. Never do. Right. So my tattoo. Um, I had it done here on the inside of my arm. Let me just roll my sleeve up. And it's my mandala flower tattoo. It looks like these. And, oh, excuse me if the camera's wobbling, by the way, I'm holding it with my left hand. Not the steadiest of my hands, never mind. Um, so, yeah, I had this done over a week ago now. And it's still healing. I've got two little teeny weeny scabs left. Um, and it's still got that sort of shininess to it, that that new skin that's just come up underneath because it's been peeling like mad. Um, so yeah, so day one, um, really sore, especially as it gets close to my armpit and see where the centre of the flower is, just underneath there, that's, that's where it was really sore to be tattooed. It wasn't so much the needle going in, it was it was when he wiped after like he'd do a bit of line and then he'd wipe and it was when he wiped it felt like he was rubbing my arm with um what do you call it that's like a wire scrubbing thing that you have in the kitchen um like a wire wool type thing it felt like he was rubbing rub, wiping my arm with that um so yeah it does hurt a lot um then the day i had it done and day or two after um, it really swole up um, I mean my arms have got a bit of wobble to them anyway that's just because I'm a bit chunky um, and obviously I'm you know I'm 36 so I'm, I'm starting to get baggy ready for my 40s so I'm starting to get my bingo wings um, but it was swollen up um, so my arm just wobbled a lot more like literally I could move move my arm like that and I felt it wobbling and jiggling because it was swollen and then just past the mandala flower towards the crease of my arm um, it was all swollen up and there was like a there was like a visible line and I could see where there's like there was like a dome it looked like I'd got an extra bend in my elbow um, just where during the course of the day walking around at work the fluid from the swelling had just moved down my arm um, so I ended up with a bit, bit of a swollen elbow which is a bit freaky looking um, it bruised it bruised quite a lot um, especially around the lower part like the bit towards the crease of my arm that's where I had most bruising and then I had a bit of bruising on the top of my arm near where my L tattoo is um, so first first two days it hurt to have my arm touch anything unless it was covered up in the cling film so I did a lot of walking around like that <laughs> um, and obviously I had to wear I have to wear three quarter sleeves for work to cover my tattoos anyway um, so it wasn't too bad but by, by the end of the day with my arm rubbing against my sleeve it did get sore um, after that if I go around in a short sleeve t-shirt like I am today um, by the end of the day it'll feel a little uncomfortable where it's rubbed against like, my body um, and that's, that's only like sort of the centre of the flower and just, just below it 
where I get that effect. The rest of it seems okay. Um, I can touch it now, I can rub it if I wanted. Not, not that I will because I've said I only damage the new skin. Um, but yeah, so it's just towards the end of the day it might feel a bit sensitive because it's been rubbing against my clothes all day. I don't notice it so much when I've got long sleeves on. It tends to be when I've got short sleeve t-shirt on. Um, from day four onwards, it peeled. Um, sort of like sunburn, it just but it just peels off where the lines are and where the shading is. So where the black shading is, it, it that peeled off in like a, a whole little piece, the same shape as the black bit. And then on the lines, it's just all flaky lines. Um, it's weird. It sort of goes like a bit cloudy looking. The, the black first of all, which is where the surface like sort of damaged layer is and then that peels off and it all goes bright black again if you have it black and white that is um, and a couple of days most of it's peeled because like I said it just it rubs against my t-shirt and stuff and my sleeve um, I've got two scabs which considering the amount of um, time it took cause it took two hours to do this I'm, I'm surprised I haven't got more scabs, but literally they're two teeny tiny ones. Because um, obviously you don't want it to scab, because that's when you lose colour and stuff. Um, so unfortunately I may lose a tiny bit of colour just in them two little spots, but it's literally like one tiny, tiny little spot in there, if you could just about make it out between the two inner petals there, there's a little scab there and there's one lower down um, it's just the more sensitive area of my skin and it was obviously where it was a bit more damaged having the tattoo um, I've got a couple more flaky bits that have got to come off but apart from that most of it's peeled um, so now it's just a case of it sort of that skin that's because it's new skin on top now it's just a case of that recovering and it feels a bit raised at the minute, but that will settle down and smooth out as it heals. Um, and then obviously, as time goes on, once it's finished completely peeling and healing, obviously it won't get uncomfortable when it rubs against my clothes or anything. Um, and even now, I mean, I'd have to walk around all day in my short sleeve t-shirt before it starts to get a little bit tender. Um, but it's nowhere near as bad as it was. But it tends to be on those two little areas that have scabbed, so they're obviously a bit more damaged than the rest. Um, still wash it, um, I still um, put cream on it twice a day. Um, my tattooist recommends um, Palmer's Cocoa Butter, the one that's fragrance free, so I've been using that. Um, when it's healed, I've got um, an, it's an olive oil based moisturiser, which I've always used on all my tattoos after they've healed. But while it's healing and everything, um, I just use the cocoa butter that the tattoo is recommended. Um, so, I don't have to wash it twice a day now because obviously it's nearly healed. Um, but I do wash it in the morning just to make sure because obviously it's near my armpit. It's not going to be the freshest area of the in the morning because of the weather. Um, so I do, I do like to give it a wash in the morning and then I put some uh, cocoa butter on. And then when I go home, if it's if it looks a bit dry or anything, I'll put a bit more on. Um, but I don't put too much on. Um, so that's it. And I, I had to wash it twice a day for the first for the first week. I washed it twice a day and put cocoa butter on it twice a day. Um, the first day you you don't do that. You just have it wrapped up in the cling film for the four hours and then unwrap it, wash it, and let it, the air get to it. Um, second day is when I start putting cocoa butter on and washing it twice a day um, and then for the first two nights you have to wrap it in cling film um, just to make sure it's not going to ooze on your bed and stick, st you stick to your bed because um, that, that will hurt believe me um, I have ruined a pillow and a sheet but I left like an old I'll, it makes sure you've got like an older pillowcase and an older sheet on your bed just in case. I mean, my duvet cover's black anyway, so it doesn't matter about my duvet cover. But my sheet underneath and my pillowcase, they're slightly older ones that I put on. And I've got a couple of marks where um, some of the ink came from under the um, 
cling film and stain my sheets. It does come out to an extent, but there will always be that faint little little marks, so it's a good idea to keep one blanket and pillowcase to one side to use on your bed um, when you have tattoos done. Um, all I've got to have done now is, there's like, as you can see, there's a gap between my flower and my owl. There's going to be like a, a swirly decorative thing there. I've got another mandala, smaller one to go at the back there, and another swirly bit. Um, so I'm going back on the 1st of August to get the other couple of bits done and the other mandala flower. Um, and then that will hope pretty much be my half sleeve finished. Um, after that it'll just be a case of looking at any little bare areas and just filling in a couple of gaps just to make it one solid piece all the way around. Um, oh I've got like an acorn and a couple of oak leaves I want to put on there as well. And it's all got it's all got meanings and stuff. If you want me to do a video about my sorry, I've got just had ice cream, I've got the burps now. Um, if you want to see a video about all my tattoos and their meanings, then just let me know in the comments below in this this video. Um, so yeah, that's all I can think of to say about it. If you've got any questions, just ask me. Um, and that's it. Hope you enjoyed this little video and thank you for watching. Bye.